So last week I flew to Hollywood to interview the director and star of the big screen's latest incarnation of Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book. If you can't learn to run with the pack one of these days, you'll be someone's dinner. And if I'd have nabbed five bucks for every time someone said the phrase, they're doing that again? Well, I'd be set for nightly dinners at Burns for the next 10 years. Man is forbidden. It's true, by my count, I'm showing no less than three big screen tellings of The Jungle Book, but it gets a tad convoluted, as there are TV series, video games, and other entities that go by the term Jungle Book, not the Jungle Book. The jungle is no longer safe for you. But this is my home. But be that as it may, we're talking about director John Favreau's 2016 version. He of the indie hit Swingers and later Iron Man fame. What are you doing so deep in the jungle? His latest computer and live action mix tells the tale of the man cub raised in the jungle who flees on the adventure of a lifetime with a tiger on his tail and chatty beasts at his beck and call. Now I say it's a mix because the kid in the middle is pretty much the only live action piece of this puzzle with everything else around him cooked up in a hard drive and delivered via green screen. Explain how, when you would shoot a scene, you're running through the jungle or something like that, how would it work for you? Yes, yeah, so I'm just running through the jungle and um, if I'm like talking to an animal, it would actually be not that hard. There would be a puppet there that I'm interacting with and the puppet's easy because like it moves, its mouth moves, but at least it wasn't like a tennis ball where it just stands there and then waits for you to say a line and then just cut. And um, John actually got into the puppet sometimes and he like talked with me and acted with me and that would make it a lot easier. If anything happens to that kid, I'll never forgive myself. Anyway, I interviewed you for uh, Swingers eons ago. I don't know how long ago this movie was. 20 years ago now. 20 years yeah. ago, and I think about, that is one of my favorite essays in sort of lo-fi filmmaking. <laughs> it is, it's lo as lo-fi as you get. And you fast forward to this, and this is so complex and so amazing to look at. Thank when you. you were making Swingers, would you ever have envisioned that at that point in your life, when you were making a film out of your own apartment, uh, right. Uh, right. that you would be involved in a project like this? I, no, I mean, I think, what's interesting too is in the Swinger soundtrack, there is a version of I Want to Be Like You that Big Bad Voodoo Daddy played. So maybe on some level I did know I'd be ending up, I'd end up be working on this. How would you do in the jungle? I wouldn't do, I would be, that'd be terrible. I wouldn't be very good at all. Uh, I don't even like sleeping with the window open. I'm a city kid. I like traffic. I like hearing cars go by. I live on a busy street. You know, I feel comfortable when there's lots of people around. What's your, what's your, what's your one animal that is your fear animal? I really don't like cockroaches. <laughs> I don't know that it scares me. I could, I could, I could face one down in a pinch, but I usually flee rather than fight. So I don't I like this. I call that an animal though. Oh yeah, when you, when you grew up in Queens, that's an animal. You've not seen the water bugs. I know Tampa, you know, it's a, it's a little, you got some palmetto bugs, yeah? You know them. Yeah. Those will carry children away. So they are animals sometimes, those uh, insects. Come on, Mowgli, let's be on our way. But I'm helping Baloo get ready for hibernation. Bears don't hibernate in a jungle. Not full hibernation, but I nap a lot. 